let's talk about an important terminology in context to linear programming problems it is named as solution now as you know what is a solution like when we talk about solution word with respect or regard to any equation a solution for a equation or solution for an equation would be what satisfies the equation suppose i have the equation like x plus y is equal to 5 and 2x plus y is equal to 80 so what would be the solution that will be obtained on solving this equation and the value of x and y which satisfy simultaneously this equation would be named as the solution or the root but when we talk about the word solution with regard to linear programming a set of variables x1 x2 x3 till xn would be called as the solution to a linear programming problem or an equation if it satisfies the constraints of that linear programming problem so that is very important that whatever constraints whatever inequality you have those constraints should be satisfied those constraints should be satisfied and then only that will give you the final answer the next is the two types of solutions one is feasible one is infeasible so what are the feasible solution the feasible solution means that set of variables which will give me what that set of variables which is very much helpful in satisfying the constraints as well as the non-negative restrictions so not only the simple constraints but the non-negative restrictions should also be satisfied then only that solution set will be called as the feasible solution next you have infeasible solution so the infeasible solution is what the infeasible solution would be when there is no such variable or set of variables which satisfy the constraints and the non-negative restriction so here you have the all the variables or the set of variables satisfying the constraints as well as the non-negative restrictions but here there is no such thing which satisfies the constraints or the non-negative restrictions so that is known as your solution and why are we studying solution why are we studying this terminology because when we have a question based on formulation as well as finding the optimal solution first you should know what is the solution then only you will say what is an optimal solution so that is how you understand the terminology the first one which was solution in the next video let's study the second terminology